Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I said something and then literally Debbie's phone's beneath us. And yeah. it picked up random words. It's listening. It's freaking creepy. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for being here today on... On today. Natasha and Debbie <laughs> show. <laughs> on the Natasha and Debbie show. Uh, Thanks for being here. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, before we get started today, guys, I um, want to give a shout out and a thank you mm -hmm. to a couple P.O. Box gifts. One, I happen to be wearing right now. You are wearing yours. And this is the Honorable Artillery Company rugby shirt. Fits you very nicely. I'm yes, like thank it. you. Men's size small. Love it. <laughs> this is a great shirt. I love the shirt. And the other one. And we have the Royal Navy Polo shirt that I'm sure one of us will wear in the next video. Or one coming up soon. You already this have it. I mean, I could have worn I this. I know we have this color. <sighs> I didn't think about wearing this. We would look really matchy. I know. That would um, have been too weird. So we have two names to think because we're not really sure who to think. There's a shipping address name and then there's a bill to name on the on the package we received. So it's either or both Christopher Richardson or and <laughs> Archie Burden. So thank you to either or both of you so very much for these shirts. We really appreciate it. And, um, and with the shirts came... Um, this the regimental shop mm -hmm. you know we love all things military so this was a really su cool surprise and really appreciate it so thank you so very much thank you today's video was sent to us by i don't remember who now i apologize um and we were told that it is not what we think it would be mm. <laughs> so i wonder what it is then well i don't know it's called british footpaths are living history uk mm -hmm. versus us so we are like thinking about this and we thought uh -huh. before we started the video, it'd be fun to try to figure out British mm -hmm. footpath, but I've never mm -hmm. heard of footpath other than like something you walk on. I mean, right? a path you walk on, right? So that's gotta be what it is. You would think. But living history part. Maybe it's more of like, um, you know, like a brick pathway that goes for the United Kingdom. A brick pathway that goes for the whole yeah. UK. Now, I don't think that's right. So this is why we're trying to guess and see ourselves what we think it is. Okay, so I'm going to go off the, the title of this, Living History. I think it's like a pathway that you can walk on um, or like maybe like, I don't know, people that were like big in the history were like buried. So dead but living? Living gotcha. history? Okay. Are we are you guys laughing at us maybe. right now? Or how far off are we right here? I'm going to say maybe it's like another idea would be like when you go to say the zoo or something and they have like a colored pathway and you follow the line around. So maybe there's some colored line that goes around the United Kingdom. You didn't paint the ground. Like especially like in the towns. Like in the towns <laughs> and you follow this and you go see all the historical sites. Maybe okay, that's what it is. Maybe. Maybe. Last guess for me. Okay. I think it could be just as simple as it's a hiking trail. Could be, but what about in the cities? I don't know that they're in the cities. This guy ain't in a city. Well. That's why I'm going with that. I don't know. <laughs> now find out. is the time where we go to the video and find out what is a British footpath. And um, yeah, the living history part. Yeah, we'll get some history on the footpath. Hi, how you doing? Hey. My name is Mac. Hi, Mac. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today, I'm just out here looking at some of the fields that we helped Farmer Jim plant a couple weeks ago. The oats are starting to come up really, really nice. But you know what? That's not what's really cool about where I'm walking today. I'm actually walking on a footpath. Now this is something that is unique, I think, to the UK and possibly Europe, mm. but definitely not in the US. Not like this. Oh. Let's talk. I'm right, isn't it? Aren't I? Maybe. Just some like famous dead people. Might be. I think I'm right. Like, about it. Maybe not. It's like a field. It's like corn or something. Not corn, but. Okay, so now, of course, the US has 
hiking trails and mm -hmm. footpaths and things of that sort. But what's unique in this situation that's not replicated exactly. in the United States is that this footpath cuts directly across private property. It cuts through the middle of the field. And that's something I don't think you'll find in many places in the US. Wait, what? So, hold on. Did he, what? It can go right through your field if you own a field. Private property. And you walk on it. Nuh-uh. So. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Nuh-uh. I'm so confused. <laughs> that can't be true. No, I don't think that's true. I don't think we heard that right. We didn't hear that's that right. Let's, I'm rewinding. That's not a thing. I don't know how much to rewind it. Let's try well, from here. Sorry. But what's unique in this situation that's not replicated in the United States is that this footpath cuts directly across private property. It cuts through the middle of the field. And that's something I don't think you'll find in many places in the U.S. Mm. That is what? exactly what he said. <laughs> what? Okay, so it's not famous dead people, but... um, Across private property. And you can just walk through it. You just okay. So wait, what? That's I'm uh, that's sorry, but I'm well, I'm confused. I'm, I, I'm very okay. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, we don't have that here. Um, I, um curious okay. about more information on this. Hopefully. Let's go. This is odd, <laughs> and also <laughs> interesting. I'm perplexed. Let's go into it. Huh. <laughs> but we're talking about a path that cuts across private property across someone's field. This wouldn't happen in the U.S. No. There are no mm -hmm. trespassing signs, and then just the general idea and knowledge that you can't cross onto anyone's private property in the U.S. Correct. And there definitely would not be maintained footpaths cutting across someone's field. Again, if farmers are generous, landowners are generous, and if there's a historical path there, they may allow it. It would run along the edge of the field, I promise you. It would almost never cut across the center of what is a planted field. Right. That's what's really unique about the British footpaths in relation what? to the U.S. footpaths. Holy crap, that's cool and so, also weird at the same time. I'm very confused exactly. in the brain. <laughs> this is a very <laughs> foreign concept to me. And it is. Um, and, and I just can't believe that. I mean, you got the whole field there and this path is going right in the middle of the field. So you losing what you could plant. So is it just farming paths, like farmers and stuff, or is it like residential homes? Mm. Uh, that's a question I have. That's interesting. Let's see if he answers that their question. <laughs> but he's right, we wouldn't have that here because... No. Well, I mean, there's liabilities and stuff like that. People get hurt on your land, they can sue you yeah. and take everything you own, which is one big reason why you wouldn't want that. Take your private property. Or God knows what they can do to it. Um, definitely not what we thought it was. No. Let me guess so bad. Okay, so let's clarify. Please do. The U.S. absolutely has footpaths right. and trails right. and places where you can walk all across the country. Yes, we do. Just like here Lots. in the U.K. Beautiful. Okay, you can see it right here. How the path cuts directly through the middle of the field. Now, okay. in the U.S., there's so many places where farmers may allow paths to go along the edge of the field. Right. Mm -hmm. If there's a historical path, you could possibly yes. see that. But you won't see paths cutting through the middle no. of a planted field. Anyways, since we're out here, let's go for a little walk. So that's real, okay, he's not answering about the personal, like the people's homes, it's like right. back gardens. I'm assuming you can. That is beautiful. When I say that the U.S. doesn't have the history of footpaths, I mean, really doesn't have the history. Some of these footpaths date back to 5000 B.C., oh, back to the Neolithic and the Iron Age. That's how old some of these footpaths are. Some of these Neolithic footpaths were updated by the Romans between 43 and 410 A.D. We're still talking really old. I mean, centuries old. Okay, yeah, I can see then why... You could do that though. Yeah, but okay. it's a historical path. That's different. That makes it a little bit different. Yeah. We don't have history that old here, so you're not gonna have mm -hmm. that. Um, and like you said, there will be some that you can still walk through, but it would be on the edge. Right. But, makes me wonder what makes them a historical path. Oh, it could be anything. I mean, there's so much history in the UK as we've learned, True. you know, that yeah. there's so many reasons. Um, but yeah, we yeah, and thinking about it in my head, like I wonder if there's a map that shows these. Like, how many there are? Are there like a bunch or just a few? I don't know. 
Let's check. You want to see if there's a map? Yeah. Like right now? Yeah, let's. Let's do let's it. Take a look. Okay, let's take a, let's see if there's a map real quick. <laughs> okay, so Debbie just found a map for us. Uh huh. Um, this is foot. What is it? Deb? Footpath map. C O U K. C O dot U K. Um, so we're looking at. We just pulled up the map key. And is that <laughs> my focus? I my glasses. Kidding. So it looks like <laughs> footpath. England and Wales, core path, Scotland, is a red line. So okay. let's see how many there are. Wow. <laughs> can you zoom? Oh, you can zoom in. Oh, cool. Nuh-uh. This, wow. this isn't real. Holy crap, you Look guys. Look at that, man. Oh, my Lord. I'm just zooming in here, and it's like just Whoa. nothing but red zigzaggy lines everywhere. We should like zoom into an area that we kind of have an idea about. Like which area? I Holy crap! Know. Here's Leicester. Nottingham. Yeah. There's Let's look at Leicester. Birmingham. Whoa. So like that's near wow. a farm. Now, but see that one doesn't have anyone like going like through the farm per se. Oh that no. does. That area does. Yeah. Oh like that's a perforated line. That's not the same. It's a solid red line. Right. This is insanely cool. This is great. Good call, Debbie. I'm finding the map. So we like to see the actual things going on, like the the actual map. This is nuts. Look at that. You zoom out, it's just like whoosh. I know. It's like whoosh. pink and red. And up in Scotland, you can tell like where the terrain is too hard for anyone to be yeah. able to even walk. <laughs> <laughs> Not walking everywhere there. Even like different the islands and things. Um, uh -huh. Isle of Man. Um, and a lot around the coast. That, that Lake makes District. Sense. There you go. See, this is Lake District right here. Wow. But there's also going to be, I'm sure, other types of them. So this was cool to check this out. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get back to the video. We were just really curious to see how much there. Look, when I zoom all the way out, that's hilarious. I know, like, it just it lights up. Now, it's also showing bridleways and byways as well on this mm -hmm. color coded thing. Um, that's really cool. I'm glad we looked at this. But look at all the red. That is a lot of It is. It's really pass. neat. That's so neat. I wonder how many of these, though, go through private property. Mm -hmm. That's my question. Yeah, like, how many curious. of these do that? Anyway, let's get back to the video. Sorry, guys. All right, back to the actual video. Sorry about that, but we just really wanted to see it. I thought that was really yes. cool. Yes. So the Anglo-Saxons also developed some of these footpaths. So between the Romans and the Neolithic times, these footpaths are really old. And although it's hard to tell and date yeah. any specific path, if you follow it to its ending destination, they could give you some clue as to which culture and time frame and when it was updated last. Oh, the great neat. thing okay. is that the UK continued to support these paths and people are still allowed to use them as freely as they've always used them in historical times. And if you're wondering what this yellow flower is this in this field here, uh, this is in the brassica family, and this is plant is used to produce your rapeseed oil. This is a rape plant, and so it's a rapeseed oil. It's mm -hmm. in the brassica okay. family, same family. We call that uh, canola. Oh, is that canola? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> Pause for me a moment. I apologize. Uh, I believe that's the same thing. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. I know I've seen a lot of those yellow flower fields. Yeah, so we have I them here. They're the same. Um, we have them here as well. Um, in some countries, the term rapeseed oil is used to refer to the oil for industrial use, whereas canola oil is okay. used to refer to the edible cooking oil. However, in the UK, rapeseed oil is usually used interchangeably for both, and the term canola oil is not really used at all. Learning nice. all kinds of things we from these are. videos. Anyway, sorry, just curious. It is cabbage and turnips and things of that sort. Okay. They're beautiful though. Man, I want to go walk through this. Right? That's just... I have a question. The more he walks through this, there's a lot of stuff popping in my head. So who's who keeps that going? Like, who keeps that nice and... Because that looks very nicely up, up kept. Mm -hmm. Up kept? Kept up? <laughs> What's the word I'm <laughs> going to say? Maintained. Thank you. Yes. Grammar I was wondering that same thing. Like, did they... Is there... Like, yeah. Someone from the city that likes... Yeah. Or the government that comes through and cleans it. Right. Do but they put gravel down? Is it all? It it's can't all it just be dirt? We yeah. have these in America. Just not through. The big shock here is through private property. Exactly. Yeah. 
Okay, so here you can see right behind me, you can actually see there's a hedge. This is a property line. This goes from one farmer's property yeah. into another. But you can see this path that's put here between the hedge. There's a, there's a ditch there, covers the ditch. The farmers actually maintain this to maintain the integrity of the footpath. I swear to you, every time I do that. I know. So wait, the people that own the property are responsible for it. Okay, that's interesting. They maintain it. That's pretty cool. I like that. But I tell you, this is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is beautiful. As far as I can see in the distant background, you have the rolling English hills, uh, just lovely. Then here you get this path walking through this field with all these beautiful yellow flowers all around you. I tell you, yeah, I wish you could be here to see this Me in too. person, but I'm trying to show mm -hmm. it to you so you can appreciate Thank it. Thank you, sir. That's stunning. Every time I pause something, they always say it. I know. Yeah, well, so he it's... still has answer the person, the private, the personal like homes and stuff like areas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know I already mentioned it, but seriously, it is literally a sea of yellow. It is. It's just as far as I can see. Uh, you can see some trees sticking up through, you know, in different places, but just the fields just extend and it's just yellow field after yellow field after yellow field. And then I've walked through several yellow fields already to get to this point. So just it's just really beautiful. Uh, if you <laughs> if you ever get a chance to drive out through the spring, through the English countryside, <laughs> you can see that. this for yourself. <laughs> if you ever get that opportunity, I do suggest you take it. It is really beautiful. And if you can find a footpath, walk along the footpath. Of course, you have to stay on the footpath. You can't go walking across the fields. Naturally. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Did you really see some are 5,000 years old? No. Yeah, I think he did. So I'm starting to lose daylight, so I'm gonna finish up this walk. Okay, I have questions though. Um, so I would, I think that's really cool. I understand, um, too, like I get, I think maybe the reason why that's, um, a thing there and not here might be size of the country too, because yeah, I, I would think that, yeah, I mean, the UK is so much smaller than America. Mm -hmm. Um, one, I ain't trying to walk like <laughs> an entire, you know, field of yeah. someone's farm. And that could be like the size of our city in some places. Um, <laughs> but, um, again, the, uh, the, uh, amount of history, like the, the deeper history, the longer history. Right. Um, and, and that's one reason that I could see why people wouldn't mind exactly uh, going ahead and, yes. you know, maintaining them because you're not only maintaining the footpath for other people to use, but it's like, you're maintaining that history mm -hmm. That your that your land was built on, so I could see why you would do that. Yeah, I mean, awesome, so, awesome point. To have pride in everything that's happened there, and then it's your land, and you want to share it with people. Awesome point. Yeah, seriously, awesome, that's awesome. That's really, great. that makes sense to me, Debbie. I think that's. I think you nailed it. I think mm -hmm. you did. Let us know in the comments if she just nailed it. <laughs> Literally, comment nailed it. Um, I think you did because if we had, you know, areas like that, and we do, like we have, um. I can't think of anything off the top of my doggone head right now, <laughs> but um, I'm sure those areas are open to public to visit. I mean, most of the places that are heavily historic are. You can yeah. go walk up to them. I, I, I think that's really neat. And I would absolutely, when we ever get over there, want to take a stroll through some footpaths. And Heck yeah. he didn't, unfortunately, answer the one question I, I know I probably annoyed you guys asking it so many times, but the one time I do ask a question a bunch of times, it's not answered. Right. <laughs> it, could this be on people's, is it just farmland? I guess that's my question. Is right. it just farmland? Um, I'm sure you'll let us know in the comments. Please do us a favor. Check the comments though for other people's answers because we tend to get so many answers so to many just repeats. one question. Yeah, yeah, so many repeat answers. And sometimes we'll have a bunch of questions and only one one question will be answered over mm -hmm. and over again. Um, but we do appreciate your comments and thank you for them. I find this to be really cool. I think it's super neat. Yeah. It was, it's really cool to learn. I had no idea, but I'm going to go tell everybody about this now. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I'm like, hey, you know what? I guess they have in the UK. <laughs> um, and that map, I didn't happen to see, and I didn't pull it up close enough. I didn't really notice any red on Northern Ireland, though. I didn't really no, pull it close enough. We'll have to look uh, back us, at that. And let us know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I thought this was really interesting, guys. So um, hopefully you did, too. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, please drop us a comment. Just Again, just check for repeat, repeat comments so that we can get as many answers to our questions. Um, we think it's super cool in that you guys have these. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, let us know, like, how often do you, do you use them? 
Yeah, do you go walk the footpaths? Yeah, I'd be curious to know. But thanks so much for watching, as always. We appreciate your support, and we will see you next time. Until then, please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.